Hi all again, welcome to my little tailoring blog. I'm just nearing the end of completing a, a bespoke pair of trousers for a customer. So you can see here I put hook and bars in, it's all hand stitched around with a piece of cotton silicia we call it, cotton fabric. And then I've put my little bias binding, little binding around the edge of the fly here, just looks, makes it look neater there. And I put some Bengal lining stripes here, lining here. Traditionally, they used to use like a shirt gripper kind of waistband in, which I don't use anymore. And this great Savaro tailor showed me this method, which I, I prefer to do nowadays. So now I'm actually just hand stitching this lining, this back lining in place, as you can see here. Just get my things tangled up here to get this out of the way for you. So traditionally, tailors will, some bespoke tailors will actually stitch in the ditch. So they'll machine stitch in a ditch through, can you see, on the right side in the seam itself. And then you'll get the machine stitching showing on that side. I've never liked this way. And it's great tailor showing me this way, which I, I do his method now, where we stitch. So you just stitch virtually in the middle of the lining. So I've just got my white thread. So I'm stitching here and I'll just catch. So I'll just go through the line and I'm just, I don't go through to the other side. I'm just catching that seam. So you just feel through it and catching that seam. Just make sure you don't go through. So I'm just catching that seam. And then I'll just do like a little back stitch. And let's carry on. And I prefer this way. You get a nicer, you can barely see the, the stitches. And you just get a nicer finish on this side. So that's what I do. And it's a nice, it's a really lovely method I like doing. So I'm just going to carry on with this all the way. So I've got to carry on all the way to the end here. And you can see I've got a nice little French bearer lining on the other side. So we're nearly, we're, we're nearly at the finishing stages now of the trouser. I teach this this technique at my shop. So if anyone's interested in learning how to do bespoke trousers and waistcoats, then I'm here. Later on this year, I will be filming. Actually, I think next week, I abandoned the filming, but very shortly I will be filming how to make these trousers, bespoke trousers. So I'll be filming a new instructional video course on how to cut and make traditional bespoke trousers, just like Savile Row in London. So here at the end now, once I finish this, I've got to make a buttonhole for this French bearer here. So I'll, I'll be doing this all by hand. So I teach this method on my course. And also I teach waistcoat making, but I'm a bit different from bespoke tailors that aren't because I'm a designer as well. I drape a lot of my designs on women and men. So I drape shirts and I drape waistcoats. And later on this year, I'll be draping jackets as well. So on my courses, I will teach you how to drape a waistcoat and make it up in the very traditional bespoke way. So on that note, everyone, here's a little glimpse into my little bespoke world. And I'll catch you very soon. So as you know what I'm going to say to you, ciao for now, and I'll see you all later.